Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dick, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With D Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status. What's that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like boat captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're going to have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having, uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from- To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's giving us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, 
Pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. to move that out of the way. My god, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move this or what? Yeah, sure. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but... Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. 
Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <sighs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the, the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's... 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! Oh. Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. All right. What the hell happened? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department <gasps> constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. 
Hey, sir. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Well, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent-a-cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent fire! <laughs> Mother fuck you were saying. Yeah. If this world is stopping anything, trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Stay up here and cover the fire. Do whatever you can to destroy it. I'll signal you when it's clear. Okay. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Warning. Force is authorized. Okay, here we go. It's clear. Coming. You're not winning this thing. Damn it. Don't let him in this. I got a use for you. Clear. Coming. We gotta get up those stairs and through the sky bridge. I think they're winning this. All right. Stop moving sometime. Alert. Alert. Oh. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Open, oh, God Security damn it. Personnel to the main oh. Oh. oh, damn it. Shit. <laughs> Damn it, you're down! Warning. Deadly force is for use against 
all trespassers. Alert, alert, 911. On their way, stand down and you will not be harmed. Locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time. Let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Alert. Alert. Go? This... Ah! Alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. There we go. Security Shit. Personnel Snipers the up there on the roof. I see him. I got you now. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple Jim, shots have been wait. fired. That's Security of a bitch. personnel. Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Same here. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This okay, it's clear. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Alert. Alert. Uh, well, this maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay. That's a really good plan, but uh, there's uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Huh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Alert, alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple 
Rifle shots have been fired. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Alert. Yeah, let's go. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force. Okay. Go. Hey, what's going on? That's my cue. Deacon Lee St. John. ID 54290009. What the hell are you doing? Tell him to sit down. Welcome to Cloverdale Research. I'm up there. This is your first job. Jimmy doesn't have to go down like this. Disable voice response. Come on. Get her. Okay. Damn it, Jimmy. Listen to me. Jim go scurrying into the office up there. <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring him to you. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple personnel to the maintenance building. Damn it, I said hands! All right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait. 
I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system. He got behind the firewall. He told me that this was some sort of classified... Project or something. I don't know. Classified project. Just slow he wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh... The power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think he could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. So, it's gotta be it. That does 
close it. But... Does it burn you little bastards? This will work. I just gotta jimmy that door. That did it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron my tone to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. I... But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, uh, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. More scrap.
Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and... ...that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But, it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. <clears throat> it's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. Get warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me? Come here. Come here.
Hey there. Hey. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Hey, what are you doing here? Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez, dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed.
Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. And Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. Fuel. Corporal St. John, come in. I have a job for you. Colonel, yes, sir. I'll be there ASAP. St. John out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you oh, talked shit. about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. <laughs> yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here, either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale, in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon, come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deek? Deek, is that you? I can barely hear you, you're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. To see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess you figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. <laughs> yeah, you too.
Open up. Don't get all day. Corporal St. John, we have a situation that I think you can help us with. Okay, sir. One of our soldiers has been taken hostage. Sergeant Melinda Foster, in charge of patrolling our eastern border along the 97 corridor. Her squad was ambushed. Two men made it back alive. Sergeant Foster was taken. Melinda Foster. Do you know her? No, sir, I don't. I've marked her last known location on your map. I have full confidence, Corporal, that you will return her safely. You can count on me, sir. Dismissed, Corporal. Deep. Corporal in command. Sarge, good to see you. Okay, yeah. Every little bit helps, yeah? There you go. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. Okay. Catch you later. wait tables at this little place. St. John reporting in. Sir, I'm at that location. Camp appears to be empty. Sergeant Foster's life is in your hands, Corporal. Don't let me down. Nope, sir. I'll find her. Something's out here. Bounties. Ah, 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 ah. Cover and fire! Can't 
Just another day at the office. Got it. I'll kill her, I swear! How are you doing, Sarge? How's your day going so far? Oh, Jesus, Corporal. Thank you. It's going great. Just great. Do you need a lift back? You see a militia bike out front? Or did the bastards part it out? No, no, it's still there. Okay, I'm good then. St. John, right? Thank you. I can get back on my own. Colonel, found Sergeant Foster. She's heading back now. Good work, Corporal. Thank you, sir. I'll, uh, I'll check back in later, see how she's doing. St. John out. <sighs> Colonel, sir, reporting in. Yes? Corporal St. John, sir, I, I wanted to check to see how Sergeant Foster was doing. 
Foster. Yes. Yes, uh, she'll be fine. Thank you, Corporal. The report contained high praise for your actions and bravery. You are to be commended. Well, thank you, sir. She's, um, she's a survivor. We're all survivors, aren't we? Yes, sir. St. John out. Sure, Weaver. Uh, Jim. Yeah, I'll be around. Deacon out. side.
They see me. Piece of shit. Taylor. Dickens, St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to hang. Hey, listen to me, <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please. Don't let them hang me.
St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. 